you guys obviously return a lot of production from last year. So for a camp like this, like what is the focus for you guys as a position group? Well, first thing is going to be yards after catch. I mean, just like even with last year. I mean, it was really good emphasis. Uh, on that, but now it's taking it to another level. I mean, our conversations are not about the offense and how we're running the offense. It's about how we maximize getting the yards after the catch, but then also, you know, being more efficient blocking. Um, there was times I think, you know, we, we were solid in blocking. We got on guys, we didn't stay on guys. So now that's another emphasis where the guys uh, from the fall, this fall, have done a really good job and focus on making sure that we're sound in our blocking, getting yards after the catch, and being as productive as we possibly can, you know, in this offense. Coach Leipold talked yesterday about kind of your position room dealing with some injuries, guys being mm -hmm. banged up. Yeah. How, how do you weigh that with so much return in production? Like, how yeah. do you weigh the reps in fall camp versus staying healthy? Well, I mean, if you're injured, you can't go. I mean, you know, so you just got to make a, you know, determination as how bad is it. If you can go and get the experience of the route, get the experience of the 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 the, the play, then let's try to get as much as we can. So um, I got enough rotation. I got enough guys to where I mean I can mix and match, uh, and that's been pretty good. So that means other guys down the line are getting experience, um, seeing things, experiencing things. Because I always say every route is like a fingerprint. You know, it's always a little bit different. DB, different stimuli, different this, different that. So the more they get experience with it, the better. So those down the line guys are getting more experience. And our older guys that may have a hamstring or whatever, they're getting themselves, you know, back together. Who are some of the players that you think of? Oh, go ahead. You mentioned We're, yards after catch mm -hmm. uh, before. What does taking that to the next level mean? Taking that is once I catch the ball, how quickly can I get the ball up the field without having to look around? I'm looking to see how quickly, once that ball touched my hands, do I know where my exit is? And that's the emphasis, is how fast can you process your exit, catch that ball, get up the field, and get positive yards. You see us anytime we're stationary, we're, I, I know I don't want to get into wide receiver jargon, you know, drop stepping fast, or if we're coming across the field, you only got three steps to get up the field. Understanding that, okay, when that ball's coming, the quarterback is throwing me open in this window. When they understand that it's that window and don't take a couple of more extra steps, get it up the field in that window, then they start to be more efficient. And that's what we're trying to work on. Does that mean that you're talking about more broader, like offensive concepts with them so that they understand? Sort of you happens? always have to start with the broad concepts. The broad strokes with the concepts is, that's one thing. I mean, you always starting with that. I was doing more of that last year. Okay. Now it's the finer details of running the routes and getting the most out of the routes. So now we're now, you know, down getting into the little subtle nuances of the position. And the yak comes with you being comfortable with the play that's called, the routes that's called, and now that I have the ball in my hands, what do I do with it? So most of the young guys, young wide receivers, when they do this, you know, they, they have the ball and they're shocked they have it, you know, because they just ran the route route. So they're happy with that. And then we have to get them to understand, hey, it's about getting that ball up the field once you got it in your hands. Sure, you um, obviously got a lot of guys back, but you also have some talented young signees that came in. What are you seeing from them? Well, I mean, you know what? They're picking up the offense. And that's, you know, the thing that we've done, you know, this fall camp is we they're getting a lot of reps. And those reps, like I said, it's an, every route is like a fingerprint, like I said before. I mean, as many of those fingerprint opportunities that they can get, they're going to get better and better and better and better. And we're in a situation where we're giving them a lot of reps in practice. So it's not one of those things where, you know, you've seen in other places where those guys at a certain point, they're not getting as many reps and they're not getting better. They're scout team. No, right now these guys are still getting a lot of reps. They're getting better and they're being coached. So um, what I see is they're getting comfortable. Now, they're, as I made the point a little bit earlier, the way we do things here, the standard, get the ball up the field as fast as you can once you catch it. Now, those are things that these young guys have to learn. In high school, most of the time practice is just not as detailed or, or specific. So these habits, we're trying to get them to understand a little bit more. And, and it, you know, and they're doing a good job with it. And they're starting to show that they can make a play or two. And then the guy last year that maybe didn't see the field as much that brings some speed. What have you seen from Trevor Wilson? Trevor is, like I said, I mean, you know, one thing that we really worked on was about how he changed direction, sinks his hips and things of that nature. And he's, he's made those, you know, uh, adjustments. And it's starting to really show through in how he runs with the ball. When you got speed like that, 
Track guys, most of the time track guys, they don't want to slow down. Ball's being thrown deep. They never want to turn back and adjust for a ball. They want you to throw them the ball so they can just run. Well, this type of cat, he's starting to understand that he's got to be able to adjust. A good wide receiver can adjust to the ball, the flight of the ball like a punt returner, and put himself in a position to get to catch the ball, you know, whatever the situation may be. He's starting to do those things, and he's also starting to be very much very better at shifting the sips down and getting in and out of his breaks. You talked about the, the additional reps earlier that some guys are getting due to the injuries. Mm -hmm. Just which returnees do you think have benefited most from additional reps so far? Oh, Tory Lachlan is one of the first that guy that comes up to mind that's, you know, all these additional reps that, you know, he's getting there and he's doing and getting in there and filling it out and still playing running back and doing all that. So um, that's going to be the first guy that comes to man, mind in my room that's, you know, done some good things. And I wanted to ask about Tanaka Scott. When you were down mm -hmm. in Dallas, Kenny Wogan had, had a lot of praise for him. Just what have you seen from him in recent days? Like I said, he is, uh, he, <laughs> he's imposing. You know, and he's starting to learn how to use that. Um, you want to be a little bit more consistent with some things, but like I said, I think he's getting to the point to where it's all put together. I mean, you saw a little bit at the end, you know, the Arkansas game, he played a lot in that Arkansas game, started to fill it all out. And I think now he's starting, he's very comfortable with the offense. You know, it's just go out there and make plays. So, but he is, uh, we're on schedule right now. We look at the success from last year's group. What is the biggest thing you're trying to improve on from uh, well, I mean, like I said, it's just the fact that we got to get more out of our catches. You know, um, any wide receiver group, you know, you have to understand that it's a blessing when the ball's come, coming your way. You know, and when you get it, all eyes are on you. You got to find a way to get more out of out of your opportunities. You're not promised another another throw, so you got to make the most out of the opportunity and get the ball up. I mean, go score and get in the end zone and. Hopefully a cheerleader will give you a number or something like that. So that's what you're that's what you're trying to get done. You talked about the three signees. Can you compare and contrast kind of their skill sets? They look like kind of yeah. three different players. Oh shoot, yeah. I mean Shiraz has got speed. You know, I mean track guy. Jared Sample has okay, Shiraz is a more of a taller guy, speed guy. Sample can sink his hips, but he has speed as well. Keaton is, is like a, a fine-tuned Dominique Wilkins, power forward type guy, three, excuse me, a, a three, more of a three. Um, but um, they're just, he has that ability, that knack to be able to put himself in a position to make a play on the ball. Um, so, I mean, they're just guys that they all bring, there's a little bit something different, you know, and, you know, like I said, it's, it's going to be fun to watch them develop, but they, you really, I mean, honestly, they are very different. And they got a different skill set, and they got to learn how to maximize those skill set and fit themselves in the offense. What are your hopes for Quinn Skinner this year? Uh, as far as some of the wideouts that I've coached, he's got a he's got a hell of a ceiling. He's got a hell of a ceiling. I mean, and I've coached some decent guys, you know. So, um, and when you got that tall, and you got that type of speed, and he's learned how to face up, or you know attack the ball a little bit better now. Um, like I said, it's just on him. These opportunities, he needs to learn how to make, it, make, make the most of it. And, and if he makes the most of it, he'll be, he'll be on that bus for me as some of my better wideouts. But I would say the same thing about Luke. I say the same thing about LJ. You know, they all have a skill set that, you know, they're very different. They're all very different. And they, you know, bring something different to the table. And it's fun to watch those guys go out there and compete, you know, but, I think the thing that's different in this room is these guys, they'll go out and fight. So um, it makes it easy to, to put them on my bus, my all-time bus. Anything else, Coach? Okay.